careful. This tutorial is slightly longer, but if you want to learn everything there is about creating a SWOT analysis slide, do not confuse with a SWOT team, you need to watch this until the end. If you Google for some inspiration and insert SWOT slide, you basically get a slide divided into four pieces and each piece represents one of the SWOT analysis. The way I approach this, I do prefer to have one factor on one slide, which means I have more space to explain the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunities and threats. For example, if you have slides created like that, you will be able to mash them up together even if you are asked to in a slide like this. Let me get to a new slide and the first thing I did, I searched for a photograph on unsplash.com and I just typed in city or something like that. Now I can simply copy the graphics, Ctrl V it into PowerPoint and put it into place. What I did, I resized the image, I went to picture format, crop and I'll crop down the picture to this slide size. Okay, this would be my underlying background. Now depending on the photograph, you might want to click on the photo, go into picture format and either give it some coloristics or even make an overlay over it. I will just get this green coloristic. The second step is to create a rectangle by going to insert shapes and creating a rectangle like that, just by drag and dropping and making it to the size of the entire slide. Now the magic will start to happen. Shape outline, of course, no outline. And I felt like I would like to separate the letter from the actual analysis. So what I did, I went again to insert shapes. I took a shape like that. It's the parallel. I can't even, I'm not a native speaker. I can't say this word. Parallelogram. Parallelogram. I'm getting closer. I need some practice after all. All right. So I'm taking this shape. And I'm just dragging it over the slide with total freedom, total freestyle. I'm making something like that and I'm skewing this object. And now I'm, I'm like wondering how much of this slide should be the letter, how much should be the content. I think this is a good amount. In order to cut this out, I'm just pressing on this background. Shift, pressing on this new object. Shape format, merge shapes and I will simply fragment them. Fragmenting them will give me separate objects. I delete the middle objects and I have this left and right object. That's absolutely beautiful. Now before we start all the coloristics, I want to like immediately start by inserting this time a text box. So I insert here somewhere here we have the text box. Okay, text box. And you want the first letter. With this S, I'm making the size about 400. I'm giving it a boldness and I'm also like searching for a font which would look well. I want a big bulky font. It seems that Futura Maxi CG Bold, it's probably a font I have installed separately, but if you do not have this font, just select something that feels right for you or just select any font if you want to practice. Okay, let's go for something. Gotham Bold is a really great font. Okay, so I have this letter. In my case, I've decided to right, rotate the letter, but you do not have to do this. You can go just with a letter like that. And on this point, I'd recommend to duplicate this slide or at least duplicate this object to have this as a template later on. Okay, so I'm selecting the object in the background. I'm pressing shift on my letter to select the letter. Don't worry, this is the letter. And again, shape format, merge shapes, and you guessed it right. I've been using subtract. Beautiful. So we have a great initial template for our design. Now what I did, I pressed shift to select the object on the other side. I filled both shapes with a white color. Having that done, uh, right click, format object to open up the format shape options. And in the fill options, we will have transparency. I want to give this slide some transparency, but I still like I would like it to be whitish bright, but not entirely. Okay, maybe even selecting the second object and giving it less transparency because here I want the text. So 
the rest is just creating a few text boxes and giving it those designs. This is just a completely freestyle invention now, depending on how much text do you need here. Um, if we want those text boxes, we can create text boxes like that. And if we rem remember we had, uh, which font did we have? We had Gotham Bold. Okay, uh, strength. That's also a troublesome word for me. Strength. TH or HT? Strength. 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 Okay, it should be like that. Mm, I believe. I knew it. I was really close. Strength. Okay, we have the strength and what I did afterwards, I used the color that I've already prepared for myself by just by accident. Um, really, I've just selected the colors that I have here. For example, the dark green to go in line with like the colors I had here. And also those those three little boxes which I created. I just created those boxes. I have a shortcut with Alt 2, but you normally go to insert and uh, use a box and I again use this parallelogram and I've ju just created those little boxes I tried to adjust like the rotation this queue to be uh, set up the same way like like I have this object I've just duplicated it three times Control D Control D again I moved them a bit around and for the coloristics I just selected colors from this object shape fill eyedropper and basically I've selected a, a greenish like that eyedropper then the second one was a bit darker and then the third color so as you can see sometimes when you have pictures you can really like use the colors you already have on your slide I made sure I have no outline and I've just created additional text boxes to implement the text into them like one two and three and this was basically it I repeated the steps for all four slides here I've selected another text box and I gave it the Montserrat font. This is how I initially created the SWAT slide. Just, just for example, if you are having a slide like that and someone says, but I want to have the entire analysis on one slide. What I did, I've just removed this object. I left this over. I duplicated this four times or I just copied over from each slide, this left object and from each slide, like the text boxes. Control C, Control V. We can even Control G to group them into one object. And as you can see, I made those little icons smaller and I've adjusted the text to be white. I give it a, a blue overlay and this was it. This is one approach of making a SWOT analysis slide.